What's up guys, it's Dan. In this video, I'm gonna be doing an RC body build. Now I kind of plan on doing a series of these, so this will be number one. So I got the RC body in here. Now what I should tell you first is the body I'm doing. Um, it's gonna be a replica body of Christian Nose 2012 WRX wagon. As you can see in these pics, it's pearl white or so, wrapped in a gloss black vinyl. Um, I'm going to be doing it gloss black since in uh, one of his recent videos, he said he doesn't plan on removing the wrap anytime mm -hmm. soon. So it'll be black. It'll be sick to make it pearl white and then wrap it in a black vinyl, but... For an RC body, that would kind of be a bitch to do, <laughs> so um, I'm just going to make it black. Let's go ahead and unbox the body. First of all, I got the body from RC Mart. Ooh, nice. So much protection. This is the body. This is a Colt brand. Go ahead and take it out of here. It's a 190 millimeter. That's the the width of the body. Here's the body itself. Looks to be modeled after the Tamiya body. Um, now. This is a WRC body, and Christian has a WRX, so there's no hood scoop, and it's got a roof scoop, and a different front bumper, and a WRC style spoiler. I'm going to try to make his spoiler um, out of scrap pieces and whatnot, um, comes with light buckets as well, made out of the same polycarbonate material and this is a trip it comes with oh these are side mirrors i've never seen side mirrors being formed out of polycarbonate before these are wrc style so i might not use them comes with the sticker sheets which oh and masking sticker sheets i don't really plan on using any of these really Except for ones that he might have on his car. Masking, window masking. This car is going to be black. Normally, when I do RC bodies, as you can see the ones here, they're not black. But when, when they're not black, I normally mask off the window trim on the inside of the body. And then I paint that trim black. But since this is all going to be black, it won't really matter. What I might do is use a technique. Um, all these RC bodies have a protective film on them, which you can see here. This is part of the film. Oh, I have it. That's peeling off here. You have to remove this when you're all done with painting or whatever mod you're going to do. Because it protects the body, especially from overspray. Um, what I can do is... Take a blade and cut the trim out on the outside. Cut the protective film away from the outside and then spray the body on the outside. So that way the trim will be painted and it'll have a different finish to it. Because if I just do everything underneath, it'll just be all glossy. And trim usually has like a, a flat to semi gloss finish to it. Let's see other things. Christian has black housing headlights with chrome rings on them. The high beams or whatever are yellow, so I'll try to do that. Tail lights are straightforward, red. Um, I'm going to have to do his style of rear spoiler with some polycarbonate scrap. He's got a front lip as well. I can utilize this area here to make a front lip. That's a basic... RC body technique. 
He also has um, some side skirt pieces attached to the factory side skirts. Um, I know he recently took them off, but I'll, I'll see what I can do with that. Do it the same style as the lip. And his rear bumper, he actually has it cut away. Like some of it is missing, like with the diffuser and everything, so you can see everything under there. So I'll replicate that as well. All right. Enough talking. Well, I'm still going to be talking, but let's begin. So the first step with any RC body is to cut everything out. Cut off all this excess. All right, so I got the body all cut out. Turned out really nice, easy. I got the light buckets here cut out. So the fronts will just sit in here, like so. And the rears, let's see, will go like this. Let's see that. Yeah. This is the scrap for the front. Now for the lip, you can see that there's, if I don't drop it, <laughs> you can see that there's a piece here. And that piece will slide under here. And then that will hold itself to the body while I cut and design the lip to go on it. So yeah, that's how that's going to be. Should work out well, despite all the crap that's on here. You can see it there. I don't know what the hell is going on. Because that will show, so I'm going to have to like cover it with something. It's just like a black plastic lip he's running right now. I'm going to have to look at some pictures as I'm doing this, um, especially the rear bumper. Because this rear bumper doesn't really have much detail. It does have the little reflectors on the lower corners though, so that helps. But I'm going to be cutting that to simulate his uh, rear bumper delete. Alright, so I got his bumper delete. Now, I want to <laughs> thank you, Christian, for doing that to your car because some of these bodies aren't really that detailed. And, you know, as you saw, there was nothing here. It was just flat and just stupid. So, simulating your bumper delete actually gives it some character. Makes it look better, actually. Makes it look like something, even though it's just added shape. But yeah, for the most part, this is it. I'm gonna clean up, some, clean up some of my cuts here and there, and then clean the body off on the inside and mask it to get ready for paint. Now, I'm not sure about the quality of the masking that it came with, so it's questionable, especially with these um, off-brand bodies. <laughs> so I'm just gonna mask it myself with 3M. It should, it's actually gonna be easier to do that. Especially since I don't have to mask off any trim.
So I got the body all messed up. Windows, headlights, grills, taillights, other stuff all ready for paint. I got the front lip here too. This is all just going to be black. <clears throat> what I'm doing right here is one method you can use to heat up your cans just so it'll spray better. Um, I have it set on low. You can use hot water as well. You want the can to be hot or warm so that it will spray finer due to the added pressure here and it'll reduce any kind of clumpage that'll occur on your body. This body's just gonna be black, but still, I don't want it to spray nice. speed up the drying process is to take a heat gun to it. Now you're not going to melt this material because polycarbonate actually to form it into this because it was just a flat sheet it takes um, it takes a lot it takes high temperatures I'm not sure what the number is but it can withstand high temperatures <clears throat> and besides I'm just grazing it with the heat gun I can't use all of this because I still need to paint other parts with it. <laughs> okay, I got the light buckets painted using a spastic smear chrome. That's just one coat. I'll be putting another. And then I'll be backing it with their backing paint. Black backer. Here's the body. I got one coat on the tail lights and the reflectors. I'm gonna be putting a second coat right now. Okay, so second coat is on. And that looks kind of dark. There you go, somewhat. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be doing tint on the back windows here. I'm just gonna be using smoke. I like using Tamiya paints, Tamiya PS paints. They always spray fine without having to heat them up. They spray okay, but I prefer to heat them up. It just makes it a lot better. So. I'm going to be using their smoke here for the tint. Spray it on the inside. I'm going to take this masking off and mask off the light area so I don't accidentally smoke those. And then when that's all done, I'm going to spray the outside with black since I have these areas cut away from the protective film just to do the trim. Got some areas here on the bumper. And yeah, that's about it. Mostly the window trim and the roof trim, bumper pieces. But yeah, it's coming together really nice. And then I gotta mask off the front so I can paint the grill. I think it's a gunmetal or some kind of gray. I'll just do the whole thing gray. I'm not too sure. All right, so it's come down to the best part of painting an RC body, the reveal. That. Let's 
also Black Mirror. <laughs> Contrast difference with the gloss and then the the flat trim, even on the top there. There's the face. Looks sick. Okay, I'm back inside the house. Um, the body is outside still. Um, I'm waiting for it to fully dry because it smells right now. And I want to stink up the house. So, Christian, in a recent video, he test fitted a Street Faction bash bar, rear bash bar on his car. And there's a chance he might get one. So, pretty much what I'm trying to say is with this body, <laughs> since it's a replica of his I'm gonna try to keep up with whatever mods he does with it if he decides to change the color then I'm fucked <laughs> but yeah I hope you see this video Christian and I hope you like what you're seeing so far I'm doing my best here <laughs> I got your light buckets I'm gonna be painting the housings black and doing the high beams yellow just like your car I actually do have a set of wheels these are not works wheels, they're SSRs, um, but they're very close. These are actually the wheels that his buddy Kaz uses. He's got Workmeister, these are the SSRs, and then Krishna's got another set of works wheels that are similar to these. So, yeah. <laughs> I got both sets of wheels that he's put on his car. Um, so whatever setup he's running or whatever setup I like, um, I can run whatever wheels I want and he, because both wheels have been used by him and even in a, even in a staggered form. So yeah. <laughs> so as I said, I'm just inside waiting for the body to dry and once that's done, I'll get back to doing the other parts, little detail parts to it, and paint cleanups here and there. And it should be all done. Okay, so here are the headlight buckets. Did the best I can, try to replicate replicate um, the way his looks. I used these zebra markers. They work really well for a polycarbonate. I've seen where people have used this type of marker, especially when they're doing a engine bays and other stuff but they work really well and these will be behind the lens here so they won't even be touched so there won't be any worry about anything getting smudged but yeah that's the headlights okay so here's the body as it sits right now from as far as I've gotten done with it I got the light buckets on look pretty sick <laughs> here's the tail lights I didn't like the tail light buckets, but that's what they came with, so whatever. I got the front lip on. Now this lip 
It's just wrapped with black electric tape, just to simulate the the look he has. It's just an unpainted piece of plastic. <laughs> and then I got the well, focus. It's kind of dark in here. I got the side skirts here. Kind of see it. I wrapped them in a carbon sticker from all the other RC bodies I had lying around their sticker sheets. I just used that carbon from those. Got it on both sides. Um, this piece right here is actually a piece of brush aluminum vinyl. I might end up gluing it on because it was actually sticking out from there. <laughs> Let's see the other side. Ah, staying on. So yeah, this is the body right now. I am working on the rear spoiler. Um, I can't really do much in one day after I come home from work because the light will disappear too quickly this time of year. I also, if you can see here, replicated his quick releases. He's got two on each side. I just screamed a couple small holes and put a little, a couple little uh, nubby screws on there to give it that look. Both sides. <laughs> Does the job. There's the bumper cutout. things that I could have done were the side window visors, um, trying to make a Sudikawa for the inside. He has a white one, doesn't have it dangle. <laughs> um, what else? Could have done a exhaust and paint it purple like he did. But yeah, that's it for the most part. Like that fitment, bro? <laughs> Looks sick. Rocking Kaz's wheels right now. So yeah, if you like what you see, go ahead and give this video a like. Um, Christian, I hope you come across this video. <laughs> I did send you a DM with a picture of the body, but yeah. As I mentioned earlier in the video, this is RC body build number one. So there will be more to come. I do have some bodies lined up. Um, I just have to figure out what the hell I, <laughs> I want to do with them. So yeah. Like I said before, with all the work that you've done, I'll try to keep up with you, with the body, <laughs> just so it looks right. I think you're freaking awesome. Just keep doing what you're doing. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing the other guys' bodies. <laughs> Randy finally got his kit revealed. I know that. And they actually do make a BN kit for an S13 body. So that means it's possible to do his body. I have to wait for whatever color he's going to do. And Sunny, um, I don't know what kit you have. <laughs> I mean, I know you got that Duraflex front. I guess it's like some standard kit or something. They do have a body kind of like that already. I was waiting for you to choose your color. I think I know what you're going with, but I won't say anything. <laughs> but yeah, hope you like the body, Christian. Going to represent you in 110 scale. And it's going to be rear-wheel drive as well, so I'm going to send it in scale before you even send your real one. <laughs> I 
I got the the Sack Auto Show coming up in the next week actually. It's coming Friday. So you will see this body. I'm gonna bring it and I'm gonna send it. <laughs> Hopefully not hit too much stuff. Don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in the next one.